Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so basically this video is gonna be about beginner building tips. Nothing too advanced, just like some basic stuff you need to know if you're gonna build your base. Like generator placement and where you can build, like can't build a ground base anymore because you just get insta wiped pretty much. So first thing I'm gonna go over is with your generators and cables. So we we'll use a cliff plate ba base as example first. So say you have a base on a wall on some map and I always see people putting their generator just out here either like this or they build it like this. I do this, and that. So you can see it through the wall, or on top. You don't want to do this. I see so many people still doing this. The, the reason why is if you have all your turrets down over here, and I'm sitting over here on a griffin, a quetzal, grappled or something, you know, doing whatever, just over here. I can shoot the generator with the flame arrows, and it damages it damages it. The same thing through here. If I get a lucky shot on this, it damages the generator. You don't want to build like this. You want to make sure when you're going to place your generators, you keep them all boxed in and out of the side. Same thing with cables. Something like this. I don't think you could flame these. Yeah, you can't flame these cables. But you can flame outlets. So I have an outlet down. I can flame this. So I'll build an example of like how you would have your cables maybe. So people would build or say they'd have the cables extending here. And then they get lazy or something. And then they have their outlet extending over here. Or if they're going down with pillars. Okay, see how there's just a little bit sticking through? I can still flame this. See? If I somehow see that, so the raiders seeing that, they can flame that and just take down your whole entire base. You want to make sure you protect your generators. Okay, my second tip for beginners is the location you build. So, you don't want to build somewhere like this, you know, just an average location, like, say you want to build here, or you want to go over here on this, or up here. You know, just an average location, just like a ground base somewhere. The reason why, ground bases are so easily raidable now, you won't stand, you won't, you won't survive one night. You build a base there, you're going to get raided pretty much instantly. You're gonna get found the fastest, you're gonna get just destroyed there. So, the only bases that really survive anymore are caves. That's if you have a bigger tribe, or you're online all the time, or you don't know, you just get lucky and no one tries to raid you, but... Or good rat holes, or cliff, bla cliff bases. Most of the time, if you build a base, say, on the center, you find a spot all the way up here. So you go... Over here, or it's higher. Oh yeah, you just go here. One of these spots. You go up here. Most of the time, if you have enough turrets, like on a, maybe, Arcpok or something, or a Deddy, an official server, most of the time, no one's gonna try to raid you if you have a bunch of turrets up here. It's gonna be a complete waste of time, because they're gonna have, more than likely, they're gonna have to soak every single turret. Maybe you can cheese it, like, by throwing turtles up here or something, but more than, more than likely, you're going to have to soak it, which is going to take a long time, depending on how many turrets and stuff you have. An official or something, if someone knows you're up here, they'll probably do it just because of how good the lines are and stuff, and because they have infinite time, because it's never going to wipe. 
but either build on a cliff spot, a cave, or a good rat hole. A good rat hole is not something like this over here. This is not a good spot. You can put turrets up here. There's like no room. It's an unofficial only spot, but if you put turrets in here, you most more than likely you can just rocket them from outside. It's pretty easy to raid. You have to find a good spot. If you find a good rat hole, test it in single player. Try every raid method you know on it to make sure you're not going to get wiped super easily. Spend some time on it make sure it's actually a good spot. Again, up here for the third tip is defend your beds and your replicator if you have one. So if I got a base over here and I don't want to box it in because I see there's no point or something because you're up here. It's the same thing with a cliff plant base because it's kind of hard to kind of annoying to wall in a cliff plant base. So say you have a base here and you don't want to wall it all in because it's kind of annoying. So people usually just, you know, put their beds down or they'll put the replicator down somewhere over here. You don't want to do that. One, the replicator is also really easy, really easy to flame. It may take a little while, but it's better crossbow and you could still do it. Tech structure can be flame arrowed down and that costs a lot to replace. And also for your beds, make sure they're walled in or something. They have like a little area because... Okay, well the cliff flat, the walls won't place in the cliff flats up here, so I had to come down here. But if you have your beds, wall them in or something. Or at least protect them with like dinos, just block them up. Because if your beds are out here, instead of in here. If you die somehow, like say someone's trying to online you. And your beds are out here, they're just gonna keep sniping you every time you spawn in, so you're never gonna be able to defend your base. You're just gonna be put on timer repeatedly. So you wanna make sure you protect these, especially because they can also get flame aired or something. Fourth tip I've actually seen people do as well, which is what you should never do, is so say you have a metal foundation here, and you have a tech foundation here. You never wanna build out of tech, ever. Like a death wall. You never want to build it out of tech. Ceilings, pillars, whatever. Never, never do it. And this is why. So you have a tech rifle. This doesn't work with just a tech rifle. You can use tech racks or anything. Same thing goes. One shot from a tech rifle. And then one shot from a... Uh, uh, yeah. Look at the difference in damage. I sat here and shot this. It does damage, but it's going to take way longer than just shooting a tech. Foundation. Don't build out of tech. It will make you really easy to raid, especially if you're in caves. All right, fifth tip and the last tip for this video. You don't want to have a lot of auto. You want to you want to rush heavy turrets. Okay, these things are pretty much useless. They do like no damage compared to heavy turrets. Now you need to get level 100 for these, so it's going to take some effort, depending on what you're playing. To actually get to this, but these things are not going to protect your base at all. And also, so you have the three turrets, three main turrets in the game. Tech turrets do less damage than heavy turrets on certain dinos. Like for a stego or a turtle, anything like a normal dino, a heavy turret does more damage than a tech turret. A tech turret is good for maybe countering racers or something, for shooting. Uh, it just splash damage to the structures on it. And these things are good for stopping rock golems or stego riders. They're not... They don't do as much damage, though, as a heavy turret to, like, its body. So you want to have some techs, but a lot of heavy to, uh, heavies, too. And if you don't have tech, only heavies. Don't even try with these things. And maybe if you want a couple Plan X, just for, you know, I don't know, just to have them. That also works. That's pretty much it.